Mac was really created because there's we're in this really e exciting moment right now with digital and online and the brand content space. Traditionally, in brand content, you know, if you're looking at television, uh, distribution is really controlled by the networks, and content creators don't really have that much power. And um, advertisers, you know, and brands have some power, but not not as much as now the digital space is kind of opening up. So you're looking now at the digital landscape and. Content means something completely different. There's no networks, there's no middleman. We're really just looking at content creators who have much more of the power because they have the audiences. And now you're looking at brands who can partner much more upstream with content creators to develop ideas that's right for their audience and the content creator's audience. And integration now is completely different. In television, you know, a lot of it's about product placement. Today, integration online isn't in a bubble. It's not within the television and in the space where you're, you're watching the content, but it's actually anywhere that sits within that page. So suddenly integration can be a brand utility that the brand brings to a show. It could be the content that surrounds it. It could be how you're distributing it in a creative way or what's the creative media play. So we're really um, in a place where the brand can have a lot more fun and be really useful to viewers, whether it be entertainment or any other kind of content. So aside from, from working um, upstream and ideating brand content and helping with uh, developing um, creative media plans, we also have the third act of production arm. And the production arm is you know, editors, it's producers, um, it's, in, it's interactive producers, and it's really looking at the project as a whole and saying, what can we do to not just make this content sit in a bubble, but really engage with the audience and have the audience feel like we're empowering them to do what they want with that content and giving them tools to do what they love to do in their everyday life. So right now really um, how brands and content creators and um, even digital studios which are the new sort of emerging um, studios online whether you're looking at Generate, whether you're looking at Vuguru which is Michael Eisner's group or if you're looking at even uh, Deca or even Blip.TV all of these groups and others are now having a plethora of content creators they're working with as well as um, a lot of ideas that are bubbling out um, and they're bringing to us. So that's one way that we're really getting um, brands involved in content. But also the brand teams that we work with in our group, The Third Act, is constantly thinking of ways that we can bring content ideas to life, you know, whether it be entertainment or again a brand utility that makes sense for all the brands we're working on, working with across Digitas. So, and in terms of clients, um, every client's different right now. This is a very new um, space for them. You know, digital's not that old. So the idea of now creating uh, shows um, specifically for digital and then having the brand work very upstream and helping create these is a new concept. But I think what we're, you know, what we're really hoping and we're really seeing even more is that they're realizing this is a great opportunity to get involved up, upstream and get involved um, with the creative process and have not more, more control, but have a, a real way to start engaging with the audience that they want to reach. So it's, it's a little bit of everything right now. We're, we're kind of playing wherever we can within brand teams, with the client, with content creators, and eventually, you know, like the smart show, there's a lot more things coming to life in that space now.